We are back at it today. We have three boxes of half dollars in our quest to add more silver to our stack that we found from circulation. Hey everyone, it's Rob Fines Treasure. Welcome back to the channel. We have hunted now on the year 114 boxes of half dollars and we have found 108 silver coins. Now on my solo hunts, like I'm doing today, We've actually searched 58 boxes. We have found 26 40 percenters and 10 90s. Not bad, but we've done better on my live streams for 56 boxes hunted, 49 40 percenters, and 23 90s. So I'm hoping that instead of just always hunting the reject boxes, I just hunt some boxes on my own. Now I have six boxes of half dollars between what I've got here and what I've got there. But I chose these three because this is a Charlani Lucky Bank that hasn't been chosen in a couple of weeks. It's last week, Charlani Bank. And then we have Emblem 1 and 2. This bank only usually gives me one box, and they had two boxes to pick up. So I figured I'd hunt those two and that one and see how we do. Now, as you know, we're looking for silver. We'd love proof coins, foreign coins. Of course, we're looking for varieties. But instead of having out my clad varieties mat today, I figured I'd kick it off with my Lucky Stacking Silver mat and see if we can get some silver. I'll also make mention that I've struggled with getting a lot of new boxes lately, so it is possible that one or all of these boxes are nothing but uncirculated 2023 Denver or Philly halves. And of course, if we have some Phillies, we'll check for that new variety that's out that people are looking for. All right, I say this a lot, but I've talked a lot. Let's get right to the hunt. Fingers crossed we actually have three circulated boxes to hunt and not something that's new. Let's take a peek in this first box and see how we do. All right, well, there are a lot of new half enders, but there's also a lot of coins that are not new halves. So could be a lucky box. We won't know until we get into them. And as usual, once I have a find, if I have a find in the first box of the hunt, I'll be sure to bring you guys back on in. Well, we're on roll number 18 of box number one, and I always find it comical that I can go through a box like this that has mostly 21, 22, and 23 half dollars in it, all newer ones, an occasional older one mixed in. And we have a NIFC so far from 2006. NIFCs are not issued for circulation. Take a look at this though. Just cracked into this roll, and what is that? Maybe four or five coins are not newer coins? And sure enough, I think one's a 40 right here. I think one's a 40 in this roll. It sounded silver. And it is 1967 40 percenter. Wasn't expecting this little guy hiding in this box. It's been a lot of newer ones so far, but we'll definitely take that. And since I have you here, we'll take a look at this one as well. And that's a 1974, which we'll check since it is Denver for the DDO. And it is not. All right. Time to get back to the hunt. We're only 18 rolls in and we have a 40 and an NIFC so far. So not off to a bad start. Unfortunately, we're back at the end of the box. A couple of early finds didn't lead to any more finds in the LCB Loom box, but we did get a silver and we got an NIFC as you guys have seen. All right, fingers crossed we get a little bit better of a box as far as the amount of coins we can look at since the other one had a lot of new ones. But more importantly, I'll still take at least one more silver because anytime you can get more than zero silvers in a half dollar box, you can't get mad at that, and it's more than you bargained for. Uh-oh. I told you we might see some new boxes, and that, my friends, is a new box. Let me clear it out away. That means Emblem 2 might also be new. All right, second box of the hunt. If this one is new, I'll add one more box. I have a T-Loom box over there. I've got to keep a couple of boxes for next week just in case we get more new ones, but let's see what we got here let's see it feels like it's gonna be more new ones based on the glue and yeah dang it all brand new ones all right we'll give it one more attempt to see if we can get another box on the table let me grab the tea loom box and i'll be right back in just a moment we are back it's the tea loom box is third time a charm or is it three strikes and we're out man it's starting to feel exactly like the last two based on the way that the uh, glue is done We'll know here in a minute, won't we? I think we have a circulated box. All right. We can hunt a second box for today. Let's get on with it. Hopefully, there's enough goodies to make a video in it. Welcome back. That second box that we've hunted, 
was a bust as far as silver, but we did get a couple of more NIFCs, two 2015 Phillies. So three NIFCs and a 40 through two hunted boxes, and we've opened up two that are brand new. I know I said I wouldn't do too many more. I got two boxes behind me. I need to keep at least one for Wednesday. So you know what? Executive decision. We're gonna make a one more box hunt, and hopefully we get something else on the board. I'm not gonna complain about a silver coin in two boxes, but it'd be nice to get one more in the third box. Let me get that third box set up here. I'll be back in just a moment for a live opening. All right, here we go, the new bank box. Unfortunately, all the new ones were banks that were close to this one, so I chose it in preparation for it might being new. And if it is new, heck with it. We're gonna hunt the last one and just pray we get our boxes on Wednesday for the stream. Here we go. Will we have a third brand new box of the video or will we actually be able to hunt this when it has that glue way at the top and I dislike that. I'm gonna switch hands really quick. Tuck my hand in here. There we go. All right, well, guess what? It is almost all new, but there are a few ones that we can hunt. So we're gonna go and hunt it. There are some rolls that are not brand new, although most of them are, at least on one side, maybe both. Could be a tough box. Definitely gonna be our last box. Wish me luck. Will we add anything to the board? I'll be back if I have a find. Otherwise, I'll be back with an empty box. Just grabbed roll number eight out of the third hunting box, and uh, it's a heavy roll, 236.97. So being that it's about exactly one half dollar over in weight, probably means there's 21 half dollars in it. Let's see if there's any silver, but more importantly, let's count how many Kennedys there are. Nothing silvery, but definitely over one. I've already sectioned them off. Five, 10, 15, 20, 21. And the 21st one is a 74D, but it's not the DDO. All right, let's keep hunting. But the good news is I made 50 cents. The good news is I'm back for another find. And this time it's something we don't have on the board. Take a look at this. I almost missed it because there's no cameo, but it's most certainly a proof. 1971S proof. Kennedy half dollar, definitely a lower mintage. You know, it's in circulated condition, but still worth about a buck or so. And I'll definitely take it. It's actually not in that bad a shape for being in circulation. And yeah, San Francisco minted all of the proofs on the Kennedy half dollars starting in 1968. All right, we'll definitely take that. A proof and an NIFC so far in the third box. Hopefully with 29 more rolls left, we get some more goodies. Let's get back after it. Well, that's gonna do for the third box of this three box hunt and technically five boxes it took to get three boxes. That being said, it was still a good overall three box hunt. Yeah, we didn't strike it rich on silver, only got one 1967 40 percenter from box number one. And we did manage to find a proof half dollar 1971S in decent shape. So those are the two finds of the hunt. And then we also added six NIFCs, which as I always do at the end of the hunt, I take a look at them. This one's got the ring of death as you can see from being wrapped. So this one will go back, but if any of them make the grade, we'll go ahead and keep them and see if we can use them in some of my NIFC sets that I offer down the road. We'll have to see as I scrutinize them. None of them look that great, to be honest. Now, through 61 boxes solo, we've found 2740s and 1090s. We have 37 out of 61 there. We're doing much better on the live streams. And so 117 boxes year to date, 109 silvers, so we lost two on this hunt because we found one silver in three boxes. Man, will I ever get to even on the year in total boxes hunted? We'll have to see. I know it wasn't the best three box hunt you guys ever seen, but you gotta go through boxes like these before you find those great ones. Hopefully, despite the lack of finds, you guys still enjoyed it. If you did, I certainly would appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. It's not a lot, but at least it's something for the 2024 Silver Jar.